Hi everybody, Peter of England. A short video because time is running and 2023 is going to be a very turbulent year as I mentioned before. Um, the reason I'm just making this very short video now is because uh, something of great importance is coming up as it has been doing every year with maybe a two-year hiatus because of the um, incident out there when people were getting, uh, getting ill for some mysterious reason. Say no more. Uh, what I'm going to do is just highlight the fact that uh, in, on the 18th, Wednesday, the 18th of January, 2023, in Davos, in Switzerland, we have something called the World Economic Forum, or as some call it, as insiders, the Forum, where lots of the, the world movers and shakers, supposedly, who are into global domination uh, and creating a one world order, um, people who are in no way behind any of the content that I have just mentioned in the previous uh, video that you will have seen, uh, have anything to do with that. But what we have now is something that you won't probably realize, and so I'd like to bring it to your attention, that the people in politics, the people who are leading you down the path, to perdition, um, or the road to serfdom, as Frederick Hayek might say, um, are not there by coincidence. Do you actually think people like Macron and Trudeau are there because of their merit or their abilities or their intelligence? No, far from it. They're engineered and they're put there and placed there by people who are moving the economic agenda and the contracts behind the scene. So let's look at some of them who are and are confirmed by Klaus Schwab himself. When they come to Switzerland and they are welcomed, uh, we make great attempts to make them feel helpful and homely in this new environment. This is my impression of Klaus Schwab there, who set up the World Economic Forum in 1970 with Frau Hilda, who he then one year later got married to. Sorry, that sounds almost like Ukrainian or Russian, so I'll stop immediately. But what we have is all these people who get brought into the World Economic Forum as what's called young global leaders. And is it any accident that we have, looking around the world now, behind this mysterious board creating suspense, these world leaders. And these world leaders are New Zealand, Jacinda Ahern. May not have spelt that right, but she was a member of the Young Global Leaders Forum and still part of the alumni there, socialists, all of them. The next one, Vladimir Zelensky from Ukraine. We all know about him. No coincidence that he's perpetrating and pushing the neocon agenda and the World Economic Forum for mass changes where he has actually, uh, oops, sorry, uh, where he's actually now banning religion and ban banning free assembly and the, the right of the press to report. Then we have Emmanuel Macron, another young global leader, self-explanatory. Then we have Angela Merkel, who was also a young global leader from the East. Uh, ex, I think she was uh, studied chemistry or um, chemistry and physics at university as a bright young thing brought in to look after Germany. Then we have Justin Trudeau following in his father's footsteps, a real incompetent, but there because someone likes him and World Economic Forum head, chairman, uh, Klaus Schwab, loves him dearly. Then we have Ivana Trump, that's his daughter. I'm not sure whether it's Ivana or Ivanka. She is also a young global leader, probably being positioned by the GOP and the Trumpites for a, 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 a leading position later on down the road. I don't know. Then we have Tony Blair. Yes, Tony himself, Prime Minister for two terms in the United Kingdom, a hijacker of society, the uh, principal uh, um, individual responsible for eradicating the post, 2,000-year-old post of sheriff, 
uh, so that the judiciary could be hijacked and taken another way. Then we have Sebastian Kurz from Austria, two-time president, I think, or prime minister of Austria, also one of the young global leaders. It's amazing what a coincidence, huh? Then we have Ursula von der Leyen from Germany. I think she is now either head of the European Commission or the European Central Bank, not sure which. I actually think also Christine Lagarde might have, but I haven't confirmed that yet. Then coming further down, we have the ex-prime minister, Theresa May from the UK. And we have Costa Rican president, prior to the one we have in now, a, uh, Al I think his name, Costa Alvarado Queseda. And bringing up the rear, one that you will be surprised to hear about as they play good cop, bad cop, and have you running four ways from Sunday every which way, as a push me pull you, um, is Vladimir Putin. So, with these lovely one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve individuals all put in by Klaus Schwab and his World Economic Forum coaching team. And as Klaus Schwab says when he was talking recently to Alvarado Queseda, when he was welcoming to the 2018-2019 World Economic Forum event, as one of the young global leaders, we will bring many, many goods and many uh, capital projects to your country. After all, we are responsible here in the World Economic Forum for approximately 2.4 trillion GDP. That's about one quarter, I think. I hope I got this right. One quarter of the global GDP. So that's the amount of uh, muscle they're flexing. And so whether it's um, Turk Cell from Turkey coming along and wanting to know about uh, AI, robotics, and the 5G setup for their country, or whether it's anyone else from any of these other countries, they're all working to an agenda. Don't forget it. Let's wake up. That's the end for now. Like it, subscribe, and do whatever you can.